My name is Jim Stark. Uh, I'm a producer. I'm in New York City, but I was supposed to be today in Sofia at the Sofia International Film Festival. Um, I was going to be on the jury, and I was also going to introduce a fantastic film uh, called The Whistler. And that film was directed by uh, a great Romanian director and a friend of mine, Cornelio Puramboyo. Uh, I first became aware of him when I saw 1208 East of Bucharest, an extremely funny, classic Romanian new wave film. And then when I was in Bucharest on another jury and the volcanoes went off in Iceland and I was stuck in uh, Bucharest, uh, Cornelio took pity on me and um, uh, hosted me, took me around and made me feel comfortable until I could leave Bucharest. So I got to know him, was a big fan of his, and I, I w had the f good fortune of being able to help him um, as uh, one of the producers uh, on his, the new film, The Whistler, or Gomera, as it's also called. It's the story of um, a uh, policeman in um, Bucharest who gets involved in a web of corruption and is instructed by uh, a criminal boss of his to take a vacation, a mandatory vacation in the Canary Islands on Gomera in order to learn the language that the shepherds use there, uh, whistling. They whistle across the hills at each other. And this way, the boss could communicate with the policeman without the prosecutors being able to uh, intercept the communications and understand what was going on. The film is a very complex noir, which pays uh, tribute to lots of classic movies, uh, from The Searchers to uh, uh, every TV noir that you've ever seen. Um, it's beautifully shot, extremely complicated. Um, I was fortunate enough to see uh, an early cut of the film and Cornelio had to go through a very complicated process to make all of the pieces skipping back and forth in time and space work together. But in the end, came up with a wonderful movie which premiered in the Cannes Film Festival uh, to great acclaim and uh, which um, you will have an opportunity to see at the Sofia Film Festival uh, when it finally takes place after this very unfortunate postponement. Um, I hope to be there. I hope you'll be there. And when you get a chance to see this new film of Cornelio Puramboyo, I'm sure that you will love it.